So hello guys, for today's video, we are going to discuss um, implicit differentiation of higher order. So just like in the previous examples that we have solved, wherein we have solved for the um, higher order derivative of an explicit function, here naman class, we are going to solve um, for implicit functions. Okay, so such examples we have here. Number 1, xy equals 32. So let's try to solve that one. Solutions. I'll write here solutions. Huh? Number 1, so xy equals 32. So our target here class is y double prime. So again, a product of 2. So we are going to use product rule. So, u dv plus v du. Our u here is your x. Our v here is your y. So, u times the derivative of your v, which is your y. That is y prime plus v, your y, times the derivative of your u, 1. Okay? Times 1 equals the derivative of 32 is 0. So, we simplify x, y prime equals, ilipat ko tong y sa kabila, and it becomes negative y. So, all over x, all over x, parang maiwan lang natin is y prime. So, y prime equals negative y all over x. But our target here is y double prime. So, we need to derive your y prime pa once more. Okay, so y prime now, or y double prime now is equal to, okay, the, um, we have a numerator and a denominator. It means the um, this is a fraction. So, we are going to apply quotient rule. So, ano quotient rule natin? Low di high minus high di low all over low squared. Okay, gawin natin ano tong x natin as our low. Ang high natin is si negative y. Okay? So, low, which is your x. Derivative ni high, so negative y prime. Diba? So, negative y prime minus high negative y derivative ni law which is 1. But derivative ni x is 1. Then law squared all over law squared. Then we simplify that is negative x y prime negative negative magiging positive. So plus y all over your x squared. Dito ko na sa right is simplify. So, that's your y double prime. Now, ang sabi natin that the answer should be in terms of x and y only. However, meron tayong y prime dito na nasingit. So, we are going to substitute the value of your y prime wherein that is negative y all over x. Yan siya. Substitute natin dyan. So, y, prime, y double prime now is equal to your negative x times yung value ni y prime which is negative y all over x then plus y all over x squared Tama? then that is equal to cancel si x Tama? and then negative of negative y is positive y plus y all over x squared and that is equal to 2y all over x squared. So that is your y double prime. Okay. So let's solve example number 2. What's that? y squared minus 16x equals 0. y squared number 2 y squared minus 16x equals 0. Tama ba? Double check natin. Yes. So, first, we have to solve the first derivative first. So, y squared, the derivative of that, baba, copy the base, minus 1, derivative ni base is y prime. Minus derivative ni 16x, that is 16. Of course, derivative ni 0 is 0. Ang kailangan lang may sa left should be your y prime. So, transpose ko sa kabila si 16 magiging positive 16. So, 2y equals 16. 
So, para maiwan si y prime, divide natin both terms by 2y. So, your y prime now is equal to 16 all over 2y. Okay? Or, 16 divided by 2, masimplify yan, maging 8 all over y. So, that is your y prime. The y double prime, so derivative of y prime is y double prime. Equals, okay, another, the, um, i-apply natin ang quotient rule. So, ito mo class is your law, ito mo ay yung high. So, nang derivative pag quotient rule, law d high minus high d law all over law squared. So, law, that is your y, derivative ni high, that is 0, minus high, that is 8, times the derivative of law, y prime. Tama? Law, derivative ni high, minus i, derivative ni high, all over y squared. That is, y times 0 is 0, then we have negative 8, then we substitute the value of our y prime, which is 8 all over y. So, 8 all over y, all over y squared. So, negative 8 times 8, that is negative 64 all over y, times we get the reciprocal of your denominator, so that is 1 all over y squared. Therefore, our y double prime now, or the second derivative of the function, is negative 64 all over y cubed. So that's the answer. Tama ba? Okay, that's correct. And then, we try number 3. So, yung number 3 natin. That is 4x squared plus 9y squared plus 36. Ito na lang. Nag-move na ba yun? Okay. That is number 3. 4x squared plus 9y squared equals 36. Boom natin yung bababa. Okay. So, uh, let's try this. So, constant C4. So, baba copy the base. So, we have 8x. The derivative of 4x squared is 8x. Plus, your derivative, uh, the derivative of 9y squared is um, 9 times 2 is 18. Then, copy the base or y minus 1. Then, derivative ni y is y prime. Equals, derivative ni 36 is 0. Okay? So, transpose natin si 8x. 18y. Y prime equals negative 8x. Then, divide both sides by 18y. Divided by 18y. So, cancel, cancel. Y prime now is equal to um, negative 18 and negative 8 was my calculator. So, 8 all over 18. So, that is 4 all over 9. Negative 4 x divided by 9 y. So, simplify natin sa 8 and 18. So, the first derivative is um, negative 4 x over 9 y. Now, we solve for this second derivative. So, y double prime. y double prime, we apply quotient rule again. Okay? So, ang gawin natin high natin si negative 4x. Ang law natin is si 9y. So, law times derivative ni high, that is negative 4, minus high, that is negative 4x, times the derivative of your law, which is 9y, that is 9y prime. Ba? Constant, tapos times derivative ni y, y prime. Okay? All over um, the quantity 9 squared, 9y squared. We simplify further, so that is y double prime now is equal to um, 9y times negative 4, so 9 times negative 4, that is negative 36. Negative 36y. And then negative 4 to. So, magiging positive na siya. And then 4 times 9 is also 36. 
And then we have your y prime. Ano ang y prime natin? We substitute negative 4x all over 9y. Okay? Then all over quantity, so 81y squared. Tama ba? 9y, 9 squared is 81, then y squared. Okay? Um, I can bring out 81 divided by 36 ba? So 9 over 4. Siguro pwede natin ilabas si, ano, si, ilabas si 36 sa taas. So it becomes negative 36 equals y. So negative and then negative to magiging positive na siya. Plus 4x over 9y. Tama ba? All over... 81y squared. So, negative 36. Simplify natin yung nasa loob. Um, 9y ang denominator. So, it becomes 9y squared plus 4x. Tama ba? All over 81y squared. You can simplify 36 and 81. So, that is equal to um, 36 divided by 81. So, Divisible sila ng 9. 36 divided by 9 is 4. So we have negative 4 all over 9 times. Okay, i-check nyo to class. You have your 4x. Ay, this is. Bakit? This is 36 4x. Ay, this is 36x class. Yan. 4x times 9. Y prime is. So, 4 times 9, hindi natin nilagay si x. Okay? So, ulitin natin, that is 36x. Correction yun ha, may x yun. So, ibig sabihin, if we're going to simplify it, so, x times 4x, dapat 4x squared. So, that is 4x squared. Okay? Okay. Kung makikita nyo, class, 9y squared plus 4x squared, ito guys, this one, siya lang din yung given. Diba? Diba? You can see, siya yung ating given. Okay, we're in that is equal to 36. Okay? So, that is equal to 36. So, it becomes 36 divided by 9y times 1 all over y squared. Ma? So, that is 1 all over y squared. So, cancel... Um, simplify natin yung mga constant natin. Negative 4 times 36 divided by 81. So that is negative 16 over 9y cubed. So the answer here class is negative 16 over 9y cubed.